right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Ah. Sorry, I almost choked. Welcome back to another episode of the 6 p.m. Well, welcome back to another 6 p.m. epi, let's say. Of course, it is part of the first owner PMRTG grind around the untradeable and beautiful Johan Cruyff. It is Wednesday, which means we have a brand new, uh, excuse me, team of the week. So if you're excited for that, smash the like button. We kind of got a little bit of a sneak peek already. I'm interested to see if it has changed. So EA actually spoiled their own team of the week. This is what they put out for us. Uh, it was on the menus, if you will, <clears throat> at about 4 p.m. UK, 8 a.m. my time. As always, 6 p.m. UK is when content comes out. They then pulled it out uh, of the menus, which is a little bit weird. Now, the interesting thing that I'm excited to see about for Team of the Week is kind of the inconsistency of upgrades. Now, Gabriel Jesus is an 83, and they bumped him to an 86. Uh, Herdeki is an 83. They only gave him an 85. Last week, a couple of players were 83s. They only got 85s. Uh, what's his name? The Bosnian beast himself. Uh, the 83 striker. Ed and Zeko. They, they made an 85. So is that a mistake? Do they just give random players a little bit better upgrades? The featured team of the week being Felipe Anderson. We'll have a look at the actual team of the week in a sec. But before I even go see the 6 p.m. content, I'm hoping the Silver Lounge comes back, boys. That is my one of my most enjoyable game modes last year. The most fun thing ever was playing in the Silver Lounge for the special Silver Inform of the week. As you guys all know, as the year went on, we got that special Melier to work towards, all that stuff. So... Let's see what the content is like, as always, for the end of this uh, quick 6 p.m. con- Are you okay? Anyways, um, Steph just smashed something upstairs. Hopefully she's good. Uh, we also have the five, as always, gold two-player packs to finish off the day, as well as whatever packs come from content. So let's see. First of all, objectives. Is there going to be anything new? Game's not out yet. So it's- what is it? The game comes out officially globally for the 40-hour charity stream. So on Friday, we're doing the 40-hour charity stream for Cancer Research, of course, for those of you guys that care. Um, our seventh straight, seventh annual 40-hour charity stream. So that's when I think gameplay objectives will start coming out every single day, or at least various objectives will start coming out. So again, nothing today for uh, objectives at all. We did get an assist mastery, which unfortunately for 200 assists, you don't actually get a pack. That's a bit mad. So, no pack there. All right. Well, now I'm in just interested to see. Wait! I forgot to switch screens! Oh, that's really awkward. No worries, boys. You didn't miss anything. <laughs> I have my Twitch chat closed and stuff, so nobody spoils content for me. You missed that. I'm sitting there. I'm like, why can't I hear the audio? Well, it's because you were just staring at a team of the week, you moron. All right. Anyway, so nothing in objectives. You didn't miss anything. Let's see what we got for SBCs. Anything? Wow, so nothing for SBCs either. We're saving these for the OTWs, of course, all of that stuff. So it, it legit is uh, just the new team of the week. So I believe it's in items. Jump over to items release and it should be here. Okay, the team of the week was here at 8 a.m. my time. At 4 p.m. UK, the team of the week was here. Now it's not. Bro, are EA okay in the head? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Did they forget? Did my account just get deleted? Why is it saying Nick 28T? What is this? What is going- Have they forgotten their own team of the week for God's sakes? What the heck? Go to squad battles is in squad battles? Okay. Well, I want to check friendlies real quick to see if the silver lounge is back. Please let the Silver Lounge be back. Come on. No, dude. So we didn't get a Silver Lounge. Maybe next week, Wednesday. That'll start coming back. So no Silver Lounge to look forward to grinding, unfortunately. If we go Squad Battles. I mean, I just logged out. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Team of the Week. View Squad. There we go. Okay, so there is the new Team of the Week. Where is Jesus? So they actually did bump Jesus up to an 86 from an 83 interesting so four star three star for the prem that's a good setup man for anybody that's using him he's a sick card he really is i know he's four star three star but even his 83 man i watching nep use his 83 and, and gabriel his use seems very very overpowered this year so that's a fun card for sure 
Uh, Benzema. So this is a nice little segue for me for the 6 p.m. content today. This Benzema inform is cool. You guys know I love Kareem Benzema this year. I love him in general. He's just an absolute underappreciated god tier real life attacker, striker, whatever you want to call him for the last 10, 20 years even. He's been top notch in and with Ronaldo in his team in the Ronaldo eras. He's just year in, year out, one of the most top, top, top players. And to me, is very similar to a Sergio Busquets, at his peak at least, where he just doesn't get a lot of respect and a lot of appreciation in my eyes. I love this guy. And we have his regular card and he's doing very well. So this inform's exciting. I'd love to try and pack him. But more importantly, and here's the segue that's taken me forever to get to, this is the nominees right now for the La Liga Player of the Month. Now, if you look closely at goals and whatever, good job to Helmer for making this graphic, by the way. Um, he's a lock for Player of the Month. Absolutely. There's no way Memphis gets in. As much as selfishly, I'd like to see a Memphis. If three games, one goal. He's not getting nothing. Benzema on six goals, four assists from four games is mad. And what's even more exciting, now that we have an informed Benzema, at least previously, okay, the... Player of the Months have gotten plus twos. Plus twos is pretty exciting, man. And that takes him to a 92 from his inform. Imagine us being able to have, at least on my first owner RTG, a Player of the Month Benzema, 92 rated Player of the Month Benzema, Player of the Month Benzema. In, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks we, we, we get him and then can start building towards him and stuff like that. So that's absolutely fantastic. I really, really like that. Also, Mr. Romano uh, released today a little bit more info on one to watches. Again, 6 p.m. content. Why not fill you guys in on the content? So we have a Daniel Malin as a one to watch, a Dumfries as a one to watch, and a Taliska now added to the whole slew of one to watch players that EA are slow trickle releasing to us. So just a bit more info for you. For those of you guys that aren't on the up and up, maybe you use this channel as, as a a quick little update maybe use me and nep as updates if he hasn't mentioned it there you go uh in terms of further good team of the weeks i think aussie men's gonna be sick three star four star is you know is still usable in game for sure absolutely in fact for my strikers i think i'd rather take a better weak foot than skills this year more than ever but at least currently in the way i play the game i think i would rather have a four star weak foot than four star skills at striker so Anyways, GG's. Very, very nice. Benzema, I'm excited about more so because of his player of the month. Gabriel Jesus looks amazing. Nkunku looks good. Is he four star, four star, and four star, three star? Nkunku looks good, though. Very nice. Barella is hype. This, I'm t I'm telling you right now, this guy is going to be insane. Because of the, the, the dribbling and agility he has, I don't even think you need to use an engine on him. That is such a nuts card. I feel like for him... Box to box, and you go one of two ways. Either have him as your attacking-minded box to box if you want, and give him a hawk, is what I would do, personally. Maybe a catalyst or something, but I think I would go hawk. Or you make him your defensive-minded box to box, and you go with an anchor. That, for me, would be the absolute money move, for sure. Um, earlier today, a notification of Team of the Week 2 being available. EA just tweeted as well. Um, team of the week two being available went live ahead of schedule. All players that receive non team of the week version of team of the week two player items in packs after that notification will receive team of the week two version in the near future. That's a W. This is. That's that, that. Yeah, that's good. That's cool. So all of you guys that got that 4 p.m. alert where it said the team of the weeks were in packs. If you open those packs and didn't get players, EA are actually going to compensate you. So a few people packed the regular Gabriel Jesus. Now they're going to get them as an 86 rated inform, which is pretty fantastic. So big GG's. Here's hoping some of you guys got this Barella because he looks amazing, man. Really, really hyped about him. Zacharia is going to be a beast. I'd love to see. I mean, if we can get lucky enough and pack him, even with high medium work rates, Sergio Ramos has high medium work rates. I'd love to see someone use this guy at center back. Start him on full chem. Bring him up to bring him down to center back, and I I think he's gonna be so good. Doesn't have any traits. Three star weak foot, but six foot three with those stats. Again, you could give him pace if you wanted to to just make him really really OP. Maybe an anchor, or you could go along the lines of a uh, guardian or even a backbone, which is super great. Strong link to Sommer. I hey, don't use Sommer. Trust me, he's so bad. 
At least the regular Sommer. So here's the featured team of the week. Felipe Anderson starts as a 78 or 79 or whatever. So instead of just getting a boring 82, he got an 84. Four star, four star. Medium, medium's a bit of an L. But everything else is awesome. Oh my. Everything else is an aw is awesome. Great shot power. Great long shots. I would love this guy at left cam. In our 4-2-3-1. He's perfect for that position. Got great long shots. Shot power. Obviously doesn't have the best finishing and attack positioning. Which you can fix, once again, with an anchor, or an uh, anchor, lol, a hawk, maybe even go with a hunter, maybe even go, uh, even go with a maestro if you just want to double up on all of his good stats. Pace is good enough as it is. He's a uh, Liga. It's just, EA just keep losing rights to, 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 sorry, Serie A. I, I meant Serie A. Serie A. Uh, it's Lazio, right? They lost the rights to Lazio, and now they call them Latium. That's the most Pez thing I've ever seen, lol. Uh, Dest is exciting. I would rather him at right back, obviously, but he is four star, four star. High low work rates might be a problem, but I think Dest will be super spicy, super fun to use. Start him at, start him. I, I would probably play him at right back on seven chem, really, or right wing back even. Very nice. Solid player. And then pretty much everything else from here, I'm not that hyped about. Jesus Navas looks very good though. Two star weak foot may be a problem, but solid, solid card. Give him an anchor for sure. Everything else is so good for him. He looks like he'll be very, very nice. Herdeki, I've kind of started to fall in love with my Herdeki. He's so good. So I wouldn't be upset about getting this inform Herdeki. I, I'd absolutely keep him for a while. I mean, our, our Herdeki's probably got 40 games played now for us. Castile, don't really care about. Haas deserves it for sure. I mean, I would have loved to see EA be a bit psycho and give maybe Emmy an inform just purely for the antics at the end of that uh, Villa Man U game, but whatever. Uh, Fofana looks good. Again, as a nice box to box. Is he a high high? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, high, high, four star weak foot, six one. This guy will be nice. This is the type of guy I'd give an engine to. Eighty three balance, eighty three agility, ninety two dribbling. Passing goes up the wall. Pace goes to eighty six and eighty three respectively. This guy's kind of nice. Very underrated, under underappreciated card. I feel like for sure. Like that. Okay, nice. Sorry, the 6 p.m. content is taking me a little bit longer, but this is enjoyable. Selfishly, I would have loved to see this guy get the uh, featured team of the week. And this brings me to the next discussion here for this quick little epi. Do you guys not think it's a bit silly that EA only give us one featured team of the week a week? Why not do four or five? You just make this guy an 84. I mean, they even make this guy an 84. Realistically, through the year, how many informs is this guy going to get? One or two? So now his next inform is going to be an 84. Well, what's the problem by his next inform being an 86? Same thing with Smith Rowe. With all the players performing week in, week out, how, realistically, how many informs is he going to get? Why not make him an 84? Haas, make him an 84. It's just a bit silly. I mean, this guy legit balled out. Why not make him an 84? I, I don't understand. And then on the flip side of things, I know a lot of you guys would disagree with this, but this is just yet another discussion point. All of these pointless informs, why are all of these guys, and we, I am going to include this guy in here for you. Why, if they're really low rated golds, why are you making them still useless golds? But even more importantly, if these are silvers, why is the first thing they do with really low rated golds or even silvers, make them 74 rated informs? Now, I know this is a little bit counterintuitive and, and something that EA don't do too often, but why not make this guy 74 rated inform? Still with those same stats as a 74 would be sick. This guy, as a 74, would actually be a relatively crazy card if he was 74 rated. Especially which, with which I hope we're going to get the um, uh, the Silver Lounge and all of that stuff back. This guy too, man. Imagine this guy's an inform. I know he's not the easiest to link, but my god. As a Silver 74, 73 pace, 77 defending. Like, he'd be very usable. Look at that agility and balance. Run them in a 352 or something. So those are the, the 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 two sides of things. Like these guys are all relatively low rated. I don't know why they don't give them featured team of the weeks as well. I don't think it's too crazy to do. And then similarly on this side, even for the guys that are super fans of Blackburn or whatever, I feel like a Blackburn fan would be a hell of a lot more excited about instead of a pointless 78 rated player that maybe they'll use, but I feel like they'll be so much more excited with a 74 rated Diaz. Because he gets into the Silver Lounge, he's just a cool card. He's still going to have the same stats as the 78. Two things that I really wish EA would, would look at is increasing the amount of uh, featured Team of the Weeks and actually increasing the amount of cool Silver Informs. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the Team of the Week. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree. We'll finish off the grind. Did I miss anything, boys? I don't think I did, right? Um, But anyways, 
let's finish off with five uh, gold, two rare player packs and see if we can hit one of these new team of the weeks. You never know, right? Maybe we can get a Jesus. Oh my, oh, what? Oh my God, I'm the Oracle of Fun again. Holy God, I predicted it as we opened the pack. Gold two player packs, OP. Oh my Lord. What the fucking hell? It's a prank, apparently. I don't know. I have to fit him into a 4 1 2 and 2. I have to. Oh my god. Well, this is going obviously. This is part of the 6 p.m. content, but hopefully, Armalika includes this also as just a pack pull clip for the edited epi. Jeez. There's the title. Yeah, there's the 6 p.m. epi title. Bro. Oh my god. You're an EA golden boy. That's uncanny. That is... Maybe we'll get a Jesus. Bang! First pack, Gabriel Jesus. Well, there you go. I wondered how long it would take to get a goaded player. Oh! How do I unsubscribe? Damn, Anna Kovacic is not bad either. Gold two rare player packs finally paying out. Oh my God, he's 500K. <laughs> I know it's obviously it's the start or let's say 400K, but he's four to four, 400 to 450K, dude. Oh my Lord. I, I mean, the title is going to be, we, oh my God, we pack the best new team of the week player something like that i still want to keep it a little bit uh of a surprise don't we or do we have to do the oh my god i pack an inform jesus oh my god i pack inform 86 jesus i might have to do that for the title boys it bags you feel me bags that is insane oh my god he looks so good dude I know the three-star weak foot is a bit of a worry, but other than that, he looks nuts. The Bibbit Jesus! We actually packed the Bibbit Jesus, dude. Woo! From an 83 to an 86 as well. That is unreal. That's creepy, man. I'm, I'm actually creeped out by that pack pull. The way we called it? How does that even happen, dude? Nice. This guy's a good player too. Alexander Isaac? Holy. I walk with Jesus should be the title. All right, three more, boys. Oh, man. Big dog pull, finally. I'm so excited about it. Considering we did, what, 20 or 30 of these yesterday? That guy was in for him last week and didn't pack anything? Wow. That's so awesome. Absolutely worth the grind, boys. Let's go, man. Now we got to figure out how to fit him in the team. Oh, and he's going to be a one to watch on Friday. F. Nice. Dumfries looks good. Dumfries looks good. Come on, Dangler. Little Dangler. Okay. Callum Wilson. <laughs> All right. And final pack of the Epi. God bless, boys. I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Well, that was the, the only marquee pull interplayers out the wazoo here. Unbelievable. I cannot believe that we packed an inform Jesus. We'll catch you on the flip side next episode for the long form edited epi where we test out and use, of course, the inform Jesus in Division 5. God help me. Bye.